In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the contact set tool. So first, let's show you that we made this handle. Nothing special. This is a bar with a hole in there. And let's create some mids or some constraint to put it in place. So let's make a tangent constraint between this and this. Apply. And now let's make another another constraint between this. Okay. So now you notice that this part is rotating around this beam. But here you notice that it continue moving around but that is not logical there's a way to fix this to add some contacts between this bar and this beam here so it will be a contact set defined so it will not pass through so to do that we have this mate so let's suppress this mate right click and suppress and let's try to define a contact set between this bar and this beam so let's right click let's find this beam here right click and there will be a contact set you are not seeing it but here for example, if you make right click, you will find contact set. So this back to that bar, click on the contact set, and let's find this bar. If you just define this and uh, this handle, let's add to this handle a contact set as well, and then go to the inspect. And you have to activate the activate contact set so you should be clicking on that so now let's try to rotate let's make this mid working again you notice now it stopped moving rotating to that side but if you turn continue on the opposite side So to stop it from moving from the other direction, we have to define another contact set with this beam. So right click, contact set, and now if you rotate, so it will stop in place. Now let's suppress this mid, and you will notice that bar is continue moving outside so let's define a contact set between this handle and this desk contact set and this desk contact set so now you notice the bar is 